competition always steps up. There's always new names coming through, there's always those who maybe um, aspire to sort of progress on what they did the previous year, so you've always got challenges ahead. And the great thing, the thing I love about the medley is that everybody's race plan is slightly different. And I think quite a lot of people know my race plan at the moment and they try and use that to sort of get an advantage over me and hopefully use that to help help them swim faster. So I, uh, I am very aware that there is going to be a lot of people that are going to be out there to swim fast. And, um, you know, I'm just going to just keep doing what I've always been doing and just race, you know, and just get in there and just enjoy the atmosphere, um, enjoy racing in the pool um, and just get some solid head -to -head, solid head, -to -head work done. It's going to be slightly different competing at a different pool, um, considering uh, the British Gas Championships have always been at you know Sheffield Pool, which has been you know a really really fast pool. So many incredible times that have been posted there, and it's a facility that everybody knows well and is quite used to, and the atmosphere everyone's quite used to. So the fact that it's going to be completely different and everybody's going to be put out of their comfort zone, it's going to be quite interesting. Personally, I'm quite looking forward to it. I think it, you know it'll be a great challenge, a great way to sort of step up and rise to the to the meet um, and yeah it'll be interesting to see what other people think of it I think there'll be some people struggling because obviously as I said it's going to be slightly a bit different but you've got the atmosphere you've got the sort of whole uh, excitement of it being a trial event and um, and yeah you kind of you can't stick with doing the same thing all the time you've got to try the you know different things so I think um, doing the trials in a different pool will be quite good <laughs> Instantaneous. As soon as I finished and touched the wall and looked at the scoreboard, I had to look at it a couple of times, and then it kind of sunk in as to uh, what happened. Um, I totally didn't expect getting the silver, uh, so it was great. And especially it was by such a small margin as well. It kind of makes it even more special. Um, so I managed to get my finishes right. But yeah, it, probably the week after when I came back, it still hadn't quite sunk in. And then when I got back into training, that was when I kind of realised, you know, it was looking and reflecting back on what we'd done and what we achieved. It was. Um, it was really quite nice. It just really made it, you know, special the fact that we were able to progress from the previous year to this year, and um, and just my experience on a whole at the World Championships 2007 didn't even make the team. 2009 I came fourth by 0.3, and then this time around to come away with a medal. I thought that was a really quite nice way to sort of progress it. Yeah, it it, it was actually it, it was. Uh, I mean, obviously getting it, just, just, by the end of the week, that I was absolutely dead. <laughs> it was a really hard week, but the sessions, I, I found getting back in, the motivation was there. Um, just having that break and just, you know, being able to relax and unwind really did help just, you know, kickstart my brain into going, right, okay, I know what I want, I know how I'm going to get there, and, um, and just kind of kickstart me into being really motivated to get back in. Um, so yeah, it did help. <laughs>